We specifically do not watch other boxing channels because we have no desire to emulate or imitate. What we have is a petulant child with a gigantic ego whose overwhelming mediocrity would only drag down our quality by plagiarizing it. Come on, dude. Like, you hit me up on Upwork saying that you wanted to work with me in the future if anything came up. Saying you haven't seen my stuff is, 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 is kind of silly. The point of this video is to 1. Stop inaccurate information and to stop my prior work being used as a foundation to propagate that bad information. 2. Offer suggestions on how to provide more accurate information. And 3. To calm things down to at least a professional level of conduct. This video will be broken into separate parts and labeled as such in the timeline so you can skip to them at your own convenience. I've also included a section showcasing how their latest breakdown on Ali was full of misinformation as well, to show that this is a consistent problem. And I'll also be responding to the top comments on their post. The modern martial artists claim that our video, How Chavez Cracked the Philly Shell, was in small part plagiarized from a vid- I never said plagiarized. That wasn't the real issue. The problem was putting out really bad information that could get people hurt, and using my work to establish that credibility first so they trust you. That's the issue. You took the same points from my technique breakdown in order and then applied it to a fight. Which the fight should be its own separate thing, where you talk about how the two styles interact with each other. But the big problem, once again, is that once people see something that's easy to understand, and makes sense, and flows well together, they're going to think it comes from you, and believe what you say afterwards. I think I did a good job in my last video explaining how spamming the lead hook does not stop a Philly Shell fighter from countering with their right hand. So rather than go back over all that or repost that, I'm going to show some clips from your last breakdown on Ali. Because I want to establish that this kind of misinformation is a consistent problem. Ali throws a left right hook combination. Alright, so that's not a left hook right hook. That is a cross left hook. Um, that could be human error, you know, misspeaking, but I, while I don't understand how that made it into a video that potentially millions of people might see, uh, that's not the actual issue I have with this clip. Uh, let's watch a little further. Getting Terrell to widen his guard before firing a 1-2 into the opening he created. So widening the guard to clear space, he would need to, Ali would need to attack down the center while the guard was still wide. As you see, Terrell has had more than enough time. They both bounced up and down a little bit. Terrell has adjusted his guard to its regular position, and he's even able to tighten the guard more by the time Ali punches. I'm going to show a quick example of the technique actually working from my Joe Lewis video, because Lewis got caught by this. Lewis falls prey to the classic lead hook right straight. The hook widening Lewis's guard so the straight can go through the new opening. Lewis crashed into the... So this is just really confusing how this made it into the video. Um, it, it feels almost like uh, the writer wants to talk about certain topics or he sees a topic mentioned and he tries to find a place to put it in. And sometimes that works, um, but, but here it just obviously really did not. All right, let's do one more. Ernie walks forward behind a wide left hook, but Ali beats him to the punch with a shorter, tighter left hook of his own. Okay, everyone watching probably noticed the problems with that one. But let's just go through it bit by bit. So beating to the punch means that your punch gets there first. It doesn't mean that you land a punch after the other person's punch is already spent. Um, and that's a very common term. I feel like any fan of any combat sports would know that. And if someone just, you know, randomly walking on the street, you could probably stop them. They, they, they would have an idea, even if they don't know, like, oh, the tighter angle. And that's the second problem. Ali's, uh, he called it a hook, I, I think it's more of an uppercut. He said he beat him to the punch with the shorter, tighter punch. But Ali's um, uppercut is just as wide, if not wider. Um, it looks to me like Ali pulled and slipped out of the way. You know, while Terrell was leaning forward, Ali caught him with that uppercut underneath his arm. So that's just really, really bizarre. And I don't understand how that made it, once again, I don't understand how that made it into the final video. The author of the scripts for Rhythm Boxing has been writing about boxing for far longer than the YouTube channel has existed. Uh, with over 76,000 views, you'd see an article called, you guessed it, Cracking the Philly Shell, Chavez vs. Mayweather 2. The Cracking Philly Shell video came, out, uh, came about as an attempt to update and reformat that article for the YouTube platform. Okay, well that's fair, let me read that and then I'll give you my response here. 
All right, so I looked through the article, and I'm not really sure why he posted it. If his main thing is, is saying that I'm saying that uh, he plagiarized me. Nothing about the technicalities of cutting off the ring in order formatted in the same sentence structure. There's no time given to the high guard and the defenses that were, you know, the exact same sentence structure and, and only one word changed. There's nothing about him grappling um, or wrestling or any of that. Oh, he did, he did say one thing similar about, um, about not having full range of head motion to one side, but then he did alter it in the video to have my first point about it's more defensive in front of it. Yeah, that's, that, that's the one thing that was kind of similar. The, the other 10 things or whatever they are, um, not in his breakdown at all. Something he did mention, which I thought was really good that I noticed too, was the left hook, and then when he started to duck under the left uppercut. That was good. I don't understand why he didn't just stick to, to these things for the breakdown. Once again, my problem is putting out bad information. I don't want a novice to see like, oh, this guy's using the Philly shell in sparring. Let me just spam the lead hook. I don't know why he posted the article at all, honestly. Uh, it really doesn't prove his point. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, the Emmanuel Augustus plagiarized thumbnail. I didn't say plagiarize. I, I said you used the same shot when I spent hours looking through footage was selected because it is simple. Emmanuel Augustus was about to do one of the weirdest things I've ever watched a boxer do, and if you had clicked that lovely thumbnail, the entire video was about the Ray Oliveira fight, where his famous sequence and image came from. Well, that's, no, dude, that's way too big a coincidence. He, he, that wasn't the strangest sequence of all time. That entire fight was the strangest sequence of all time, and there are multiple angles and shots, and he did that kind of stuff through lots of fights. You pick the shot seven frames away. I only commented about the thumbnails anyways to show what kind of person you were. Like, is this someone who cares about putting in the work, or will this person just put out anything because it's quick? Uh, okay. Also, did you seriously try to claim God of War in a thumbnail? Nil, really, better get Sony Venmo if you want to go that route. No, anyone could use that copy. My problem is that you saw a copy that had worked, or you didn't want to spend time thinking up your own copy. Copy is the image on a thumbnail, by the way. Um... And then you just used the same one that I used the last video. You can't ask me to believe that it's a coincidence that you chose the name of a video game or a mythical character for your for your boxing thumbnail randomly using the same text as my last thumbnail for for your next thumbnail. Like just just to, just defend your work, man. There's nothing about the lead hook stopping the the right hand here. And I, I always said all this stuff wasn't a big deal. Side by side, I know which thumbnail catches my eye. Step your game up or get left. Oh man, am, am I about to get served? We here at Rhythm Boxing frankly find it petty and annoying that you feel arrogant enough to claim the concept of explaining a front foot pressure fighter with a nice high guard. You, it, you know, it's, it's way less plagiarism, plagiarism and, and more just the, the points in order to establish that credibility, but then you give wrong information. Like, I didn't create the techniques. I'm not the fighter. Lots of people could look at the fight and see the same things I saw. But yeah, that's the hard part of writing, is formatting it. Uh, we firmly believe that we are without question the best boxing channel on YouTube. I mean, that's just, like, your opinion, man. This, this is all very personal now. But I care about you getting people hurt, man. I don't, I don't care uh, about a dick measuring contest. Uh, what we do have is a petulant child with a gigantic ego whose overwhelming mediocrity would only drag down our quality by plagiarizing it. Man, I don't know even what to say to that. I, I could defend myself by listing all the boxers that think my work is good. George, George Foreman, Emmanuel Augustus himself, um, Julio Cesar Chavez requested my breakdown and then liked it. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure I could list a bunch of names, but, um, that, that's just petty. I don't even feel like defending myself. But once again, my issue is, is you using what I put out there to format your videos and then giving bad information. That's my problem. Uh, we here are better than you at mixing, making boxing videos and, and you hate it. Okay. If you wanted to never speak on it again, you could have asked privately privately, or simply shut the F up. Um, I mean, Lee Wiley had a channel do this exact same thing to him. 
The guy apologized in private and kept doing it, and I've, I've seen that. This isn't the first time this has happened. So he has kind of a point. I could have tried that first. Based on their prior activity of just copy-pasting the thumbnails and, and all that, and, re, you know, I did not see that. But now you have our attention. So put up or shut up. I'll let your subscribers pick the fight. We do a video of whatever length and style of your preference. He wants to do like a video off? Any format you want, any ward count. If we each make a video, ours will be better. If you ignore this, you are a coward. I mean, you already have a lot of the same videos as me. People could just watch those two videos. And no, I'm not interested in that. Um, I already have enough recognition and this isn't about whose dick is bigger. This is about you putting out bad information after you gain people's um, confidence by using work I've already done. All right, so these are the comments they kept up, so they might be ne pretty negative towards me, but we'll see. Um, Rhythm boxing captures the storylines and narratives. TMMA is more for technical analysis. Both are great. That's not that's not really bad for the top comment. You know, I, I thought that since it was their subscriber base, this is their community post, it was going to be um, tearing me apart. Uh, in my humble opinion, uh, opinion, both of you should get over yourselves and continue to make great content for your audience without the drama. What a cheesy escalation over one video. Yeah, I mean, I thought really, really hard. And I wouldn't have said anything if the video didn't get so big and didn't have that in misinformation in it. Um, because when you have this many subscribers and you build yourself up as a hype channel or a storytelling channel, people aren't going to know how you built yourself up. They're just going to see that like you're offering these technique points. Um, and you didn't go through those, those years of building subscribers and people commenting or, or arguing or, or discussing. You didn't have like famous fighters be like, oh, I loved your thing, so you know you're good. You didn't have uh, people question your work um, like, like I did starting from zero subscribers and always being a technique channel. Um, so you're not going to have that insight when you put it out, but people are going to think you have that insight. And that's that's dangerous. Now, I got to say, uh, nah, I got to say, uh, TMMA is superior and breaking down the techniques used by boxers in his videos. These are this dude's subscribers? Uh, he did have a point on your technique brand breakdowns. They're kind of BS sometimes. Jesus Christ. Uh, I like watching your channel more for the way you narrate fights and the backstory of the fights. Uh, I like both channels a lot. T yeah, both channels are fine. Just don't put up that information. This makes me think less of modern because these plagiarizing uh, claims sound pretty petty petty, but I don't think a video contest would decide who's better since you both have different styles of content. Well, yeah, and why not keep different styles of content or hire a writer who understands? Like, I, encur I, I really encourage smaller channels that do analysis and breakdown. That's why I've had so many small channels on. That's why I've shouted out um, Hidden Gems. That's why I've shouted out uh, Lee Wiley. Um, who should not have a smaller channel, who should have a much larger channel than me. That's why I had on Gabriel Varga back when his channel only had 10,000 and now he has over 100,000. That's why um, I've worked with, with Sylvie, is I love spreading information and I want to help these smaller channels grow. And, and if they're good, if they're good, if they're giving out accurate, correct information, um, then I want to help them grow. Uh, TMMA breaks down far better. Rhythm boxing is good for purely entertainment. You even cornier than him on here for throwing a uh, fit. You could have done two simple things. Either talk to him privately. Well, I mean, I could have done that too, honestly. Um, but yeah, he, he could have done that. The message was so strong, it felt like a death threat the way I read it. Okay. Um, come on, don't act like a 12-year-old. My God, these are his own subscribers. Okay. Um, just, dude... I have no problem with you making boxing videos. The personal insults are a little weird, and you sound you sound like you're, you know, maybe you should have waited a few days before you put something out. Um, and we've all been there, and I've been there too. I, I think you could have addressed the points that I made rather than than the personal insults. Um, is all is all I'm saying. I and I hope hope in the future that you're, you know, if you want to keep doing the technique thing, find some way to put out accurate information. I'm sure I've made inaccuracies too. Um, you know, I've made hundreds of videos. I'm sure that I said something wrong at some point, but I always double and triple check my work and I'm sure of what I say 
and I make sure that it matches up to the footage and then I'm not gonna say anything that will get someone hurt. So so, so that's it. Uh, happy training, everyone. <laughs>